Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Resend Things. Have you seen those Tree of Life wreaths? They are all over the place. They are posted everywhere online. And I love the way they look. They have that whole Mother Nature thing happening. If you love the outdoors, nature, rustic looking, this is a great little wreath. I'm going to use that new round bicycle wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to create my own little version of the Tree of Life. Why don't I just get started and I'll show you how I put it all together. And I have my round wire wreath frame along with that bicycle wheel frame that I got from the Dollar Tree. This decorative jute rope, I used about three packages. I have the decorative stones as well. Reindeer moss, I have three packages of these. And this fairy garden figurine little bench, I didn't end up using it, but I wanted to try it anyways. Some of the burlap fabric ribbon. And of course, I'm going to be using my normal crafting supplies today as well. The first thing I decided that I wanted to do was to combine the round wreath frame and the bicycle wreath frame. So what I did was I just aligned up the anchors on them and I used just cable ties and I made sure the little portion was at the back as well so it didn't stick out at the front. And I just really pulled tight to make sure it's nice and secured. And I added four of them on here. So at the 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. Then I cut them off and I turned it over. And it was actually really secure, so I was really happy with that. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take that burlap ribbon and I'm going to glue it down just to start it off so it's not going to go anywhere. And then I'm going to take that roll, feed it through those spokes, and I'm going to wrap the entire wreath outer portion with that ribbon. Of course, you see the roll went flying off my table. So, hey, I continued on. I motored with it. <laughs> Things happen. But, yeah, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start wrapping that burlap all the way around in between those spokes. And this took one and a little bit. So here is the end of the first roll. I'm just going to hot glue that end portion down. Use my handy dandy little tool to get that uh, burlap right in the glue. And then I'm glue on my new roll after that. And now I'm going to make sure to hold on to my roll so it doesn't roll away on me again. And we're going to finish off wrapping up that wreath at the very end. Adding some glue down to glue that last piece down with my tool. And then I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and just chop off the excess. And we have our little frame all ready to go. It looks like a wheel, doesn't it? <laughs> and here we go. I'm just going to start with these rocks. All I'm really doing is I'm taking random rocks. And these are just the decorative rocks that you see. You can choose whatever color you want. They come in blue and green, natural color, black, etc. This is just the natural color ones that I've chosen. And I usually turn my wreath around every so often just to see what's happening on all sides. So that's a little bit of a tip. Turn your wreaths around to see what's going on. And I'm just going to add my hot glue with those rocks. And once that's all done, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to liberally throw that Mod Podge on there. And I'm talking, it was very liberal. I mean, I trusted gluing the rocks down with the hot glue, but this just kind of makes sure everything kind of stays in place and it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm just going to let that dry for a little bit. And then I'm going to take my rope and I'm going to start planting out my roots, my trunk, and my branches. So you can see at the bottom there, I'm kind of getting a length that I want to use for my roots. And then I just put a little clamp on. And then once I get that little piece of tape off the end, I start unraveling. And you can unravel this as much as you want, as little as you want, but I went right down to the single strands and that's gonna create our roots at the bottom. So you can see there, they're nice and thin. They look like roots. I'm just planting this all out where my trunk's gonna go. Again, I'm gonna put that clamp down on there just to kind of give me a guideline of where I can unravel to. And then of course my length my longest length of tree branch that I'm going to create, I cut that and then I unravel. But this time I'm going to leave 
just the first ravel undone and then that's it. That's going to be the branches at the top, so I want them a little bit thicker. So here you can see me planning it out. It's coming along really nicely. And now I'm going to add a second piece of rope and I'm going to glue that to the original one kind of on an angle. What I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be wrapping around that center rope with another rope. But first I'm going to unravel the rope at the bottom to create more roots for this uh, for my tree. So once that's all done, I'm going to take that new piece of rope and I'm going to start to coil it around and I'm going to hot glue it every time I do a turn just to make sure that that, um, that rope doesn't come unraveled. So you can kind of see here that I am creating a little bit of a cone shape, um, which is going to be our trunk really. And all of the gluing I want to try to keep at the back. And when I finally wrap my last little bit all around, I'm just going to hold that in place with my little clamp and get that all dry before I start moving on. And you can see I have my branches at the top with that new rope, which is the thicker one. And I'm going to use a lot of hot glue to glue down the trunk of my tree to my rock. So I'm just going to hold it there for a bit. And then once I have my tree branches at the top all planned out, I'm just going to glue them all down. And you can see I planned that out just a little bit to add a little bit more interest. And now it comes time to separate and plan out my roots. And I'm going to take my Mod Podge one more time and I'm going to give these roots a really nice coat of Mod Podge. If you don't want to use Mod Podge, you can totally use your glue gun. I just wanted to make sure everything was set and didn't move on me. So I decided to cover everything with Mod Podge and you can kind of see I'm using my finger and my paintbrush making a wonderful little mess. <laughs> but we all love messes, don't we, when we're crafting. Maybe we don't love them, but we all do like getting messy, right? <laughs> Here we go. It's almost dry, but I'm going to cut off my excess branches at the top. And then I'm just going to turn that wreath over and I'm going to glue down the roots right at the back there. So I'm just laying down a whole bunch of hot glue. I'm going to lay the strings there and then use my handy dandy little tool and chop off the excess when it's all dry. Then we're going to flip it over and I'm going to let this dry for a little bit longer. And once it's a little bit more dry, I'm going to add on my moss. Now this is the reindeer moss and I like doing dry runs. So if you've watched my channel for a little bit, I like doing what I call dry runs of your embellishments on your wreath. So before you start attaching everything, just lay it down on top without any glue, without any tape or uh, cable ties or pipe cleaners and just kind of see how you want it to come together. So you see how I'm planning everything here. I'm doing a little changing here and there. And eventually, once I'm happy with how this is all laid out, I just glue all those pieces of moss down with my hot glue, holding it in place for a few minutes until it's nice and dry. If you've never worked with moss before, just to let you know, you can kind of see in the background there, it is a natural material, so it does get messy. <laughs> and I usually try to lay something down. So here I just laid some wax paper down. So it's a really easy cleanup afterwards. But you can see here with my moss all added, and now I just let it dry. Once it's all dry, I add a little moss right at the bottom. But here is my little tree of life. David style, let's put it, <laughs> with that bicycle wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun making this one. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today. As always, I appreciate you coming by to check out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.